My name is Nicole Harris. I work for IBM as a technical specialist in data warehousing and data management. So that involves meeting with customers, um, presenting to them on data warehousing. You might have a supermarket who's got lots of data on sales and they might want to do analytics on that to help them decide what promotions, what offers they want to put on, how they want to arrange the layout of their stores so it can help with um, those kind of decisions. The thing that I enjoy the most about my job at the moment is being given completely new challenges fairly regularly, being given the time and, and the budget as well to, to take on those skills and do lots of training and, um, and gather skills in new areas. When I was at school I was very bookish and a, a bit of a geek I guess to say the least. Um, I really enjoyed school and uh, my mum taught at the school that I went to was actually my year head for three years and, um, and then she went on to teach me A-level maths so um, there could have been a few problems there but it was, it was okay and um, I really enjoy studying. Originally I wanted to be a vet um, but unfortunately my A-level results weren't quite good enough um, so biology was my favourite subject at A-level so I decided to stay on and do um, biology with an emphasis on um, zoology and the animal study side of things at Southampton University. I was in halls for my first year, as most people are, and um, I really enjoyed that. And I think that adds to the university experience. Um, my sister and brother both stayed at home when they were at university, and I think you do get a completely different experience as to when you live in halls and then move into shared accommodation with the other students and, I guess, gain those life skills, like cooking and cleaning and all the things that maybe you didn't do when you were at home. Because I enjoyed the practical side of things so much during my degree, I thought I'd stay on and, um, and, and do a PhD there. And um, this kind of led on to my current career um, because during my PhD I did a lot of work with bioinformatics, um, statistics and computing. And a guy in the IT department recommended IBM as a, as a graduate um, employer. So I applied, went through the recruitment process and got offered a job and that's where I am now. I've been working for IBM for a year and a half. I had two, two big inspirations. The first one was my mum um, because she taught me at school and she was there. I don't think I would have got anywhere where I am today without her help, particularly at school, to help me achieve as much as I did. And the second person would be my twin sister, Emma. Um, so we were in the same classes at the same time, going through school together, university at the same time, and the competitive side of things when we were going through school really helped as well, give us a bit more motivation to do well and, and get the grades that we needed. I went to Vancouver for two months while I was doing my PhD uh, to work there in the lab and it was, a, it was a fantastic time because it was the first time I'd been abroad for work and flying out by myself and it was quite, quite nerve-wracking really meeting all these new people and learning new skills but I had the support of my mum, she kind of came out and made sure I was okay and also because it was a cheap holiday for her too I think. Horse riding is my main hobby because that combines my enjoyment of being outside, working with animals and, and just enjoying sports and exercising. And um, I'm also a very keen skier and cyclist. So most of my hobbies are sports based and outdoor activities. But if the weather's bad, I like staying in with a good book. Plenty of reading, I enjoy that. In five years time, or a few years time, I probably still see myself working um, for IBM in, in a technical capacity because that's something that I'm really enjoying at the moment. But I'm not going to rule out a complete change of career in the future, maybe going into an area of animal care or, or retraining and going back to university and studying to become a vet. That might be something that I would do in the future, something I'd be very interested in anyway.